Woo! Tyler Denham, he's super, super high energy guy. We're doing some elk shaped gear stuff today. Let's talk about spotting scopes. Plus, let's show you something that I haven't seen, he hasn't seen, nobody's seen. So let's look at this little array of spotting scopes. So let's uh, pick up my tried and true 65 millimeter angled from Vortex. And I have the mag view attachment to it, obviously, but 3.8 pounds with nothing attached there with the mag view. This is like keeps the dust out and debris. Speaking of which, do you have a mag view for your phone? Like what if you're hanging out with me and I'm like, hey, yo, Tyler, put that on there. Nope. Oh, well, first off, before we get any further, <laughs> let's get the dude a magnet. Do you have your mobile device? Oh, look at that. This is your phone plate accessory from MagView. We'll show MagView because that's part of my systems in here. And you have your phone in a nice case. Do you care about this little doodad? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. It comes with X. Oh! Do you need a side plate? I'll give you one. Give a little alcohol wipe here on the back and then just line that up exactly where you want. Since you asked, this is going to go down here. And then they have a B1 and an S1. B1 is for binocular. I'll show you how, so you can literally attach this to your binocular. Mm -hmm. And then the S1 is for, S is for spotter. And uh, I'm gonna get you one of these to run this year for all your elk, antelope, mule, deer, bear, sheep. You sheep hunter? Not this year. Not this year. Yeah, okay. And uh, the reason why I like it, first off, made in America, lifetime warranty. Put that aside, there's other competitors out there, but they require a special phone case. You keep the normal phone case. now. It has an app that comes with it for free. It's called MagView Gear app. You can download that and that will help you override your, your, uh, your Apple phone has three camera lenses. And when you zoom in, a lot of times, once you get past to a certain threshold, it'll switch to a different camera. Well, once you line that up in your spotter, mm -hmm. you can use the MagView to override it moving from camera. You can lock in your camera. Gotcha. Okay. And then also if we're hanging out and I'm set up with my spotting scope and I'm like, Glass, I'm like, hey, can you get some footage of that? You can use your phone, click on horizontal, vertical, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're gonna do for Tyler, guys, and we'll just probably point to this camera, and you'll have to do this while standing up, is I'm going to have you wipe down with the alcohol wipe, let it dry for a few seconds. This is a sticky little thing on the end here. Just going to, we're gonna go like this, and then just, you probably wanna do this yourself i'll hold your phone like on the table here yeah towards the bottom of the phone and make sure it's like symmetrical or your ocd will kick in okay there you go there you go oh, now done. now that that's out of the way that's easy let's check out this big dog nice i don't even know what this is i think it's an 85 mil straight 85 mil no angle i'll be honest guys i don't use this this much because one it's not that comfortable to stand up in glass or you know what I mean? So I love the angle for most out west applications. I'm guessing this is going to weigh over four and just the sheer size of it. But if you're hunting, if you hunt in country that you need to, oh my gosh, <laughs> 4.6 pounds for the big dog. Feel how heavy that is. So but man, it. can you reach out and touch somebody? And then Vortex has always made this little guy. It's 11 by 33 by 50 mil. It's not nearly as powerful as a 65 millimeter. Mm -hmm. So like if you're a trophy hunter, trying to decide if this elk is over 300 inches, uh, see what other weird people do. Um, what I do with a lot of spine scopes is like, well, it's daylight and I need to try to find something to hunt and I haven't had a very good day of glassing, I'll use a spine scope and really pick apart like tight bedding country. I'm trying to find a flicker of an ear, a nose, a tail, an eyeball. This will not do that for you, but this will get you closer than most binoculars and it weighs absolutely nothing. And the footprint is tiny. What's your guess? Under two, 1.6 pounds for this. So now let's, uh, let's see what old uh, Vortex has been up to. They sent me a box. They said, hey, we got a new spotter. We're gonna need this. We got a new spotter. That may be your number one. So I ordered another Mag, uh, MagView S1 because if this thing is anything like I think it's going to be, I want to perhaps save weight and run it for 2023. And I don't always pack a spotting scope. And you don't because I, you don't even have one, correct? <laughs> correct. 
So we're going to change that this year. We're going to get you running. Uh, and not all applications you need a spot and scope, right? Correct. I should say, this is from Buck. It's full auto. Not legal in California. Or Washington, which wants to be California. I digress. So, ooh. This is a Razor HD. Are you excited? I am. I mean, I can tell. All right. Ooh, Razor HD. 13, 39, 56. That's damn near 65 mil. So that's going to be, like, this is definitely going to be my go-to. I can just already tell just based on the footprint alone. Two pounds? Two pounds. Okay, so we're going four. What did we say the 65 was? 3.8. Two pounds. And look at the footprint differential and you're losing four mil, right? I mean, basically how that works. So let's set it up. This comes with a Arca Swiss plate already. Oh my So you gosh. don't have, you don't need a, you won't need, if you're using a Vortex tripod, you won't need a base plate for that. That's pretty cool. Like I always say, <laughs> she ain't going anywhere. You know when you tie down something in the truck? Half she, she ain't going anywhere. Ain't going anywhere. Vortex makes some killer lightweight carbon tripods, and that's usually what I run. But I wanted, since this is the gear channel, to talk about this Asiac. I've already touched on it on my other channel, Elk Shape, uh -huh. the, uh, not the gear channel, but I haven't talked about it here. So this is the plate that would come with the Asiac. Uh -huh. Let's see if this fits it. Oh my gosh, Tyler. We don't need a plate. Yeah. Vortex, you killed it. So the Asiac weighs absolutely next to nothing, and it's a ball, so you can kind of get that set up, and you can change this out for other things, and they have the most rad attachment for glassing with binos. Let's see what this total weight is. 3.2 pounds for a guy to be able to spot and do whatever. Last but not least is I want a mag view on there so I don't have to have this cover. Uh, so I can digiscope. So I'm going to do that real quick with you guys. But wanted to give you the first looks at this 56 millimeter angled spotter from Vortex. You can get it in straight as well. I'm not sure when it comes out. I'm not sure if we're even supposed to be filming this. But it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. But this is what I'm going to have in my backpack. That's going to save a lot of weight, a lot of bulk, the footprint. And then that means that if I'm running this, then Tyler, you get to take your pick of which one of those you're going to run, and you have to make a decision in the next 30 <laughs> seconds. Cue the Jeopardy music. Uh, I'll run this one. Okay, 65. Digiscopies. Yeah. That's cool. Now get those guys the footage. So the, the aesthetics on this looks pretty good. It's going to show up like that. Now this, these are going to fit most uh, spotting scopes. There's only a few that the MagView doesn't fit and they're working on it. But majority across the line, regardless of the manufacturer, it's going to fit. So we're going to go ahead and set this up on there. And we've made videos in the past on how to do this. So watch one of those. Maybe we'll link it at the end of this one. It comes with an extra magnet. So you don't have two phones, do you? Isn't there a rap song about two phones? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. Okay. Taking these rings. We are going to set this up to Digiscope. You guys can set up the S1 vertically. You can loosen it and have it horizontally. You know, honestly, I, I like more vertical to be for like socials and stuff or shorts and stuff. Uh, but if I am trying to make a YouTube video, I, I want to go horizontal. But either way, you can take super dope photos and videos. We just put the S1 on this. This is not, I don't know, it's just the Razer HD 56 mil, but it's so small. Tiny footprint. Again, this is the Asiac tripod. So the things we've covered in this video are like just, these are kind of the spotting scopes that Vortex has to offer. We just got Tyler set up with MagView. I think, I gotta grab one more thing here, Tyler. We should probably talk about tripods a little bit in this video since we try to be really thorough in all our videos. Uh -huh. So this is the Alpine Pro. That's from Black Ovis, right? Uh, I believe so, yep. Yeah, that's from Black Ovis. And then do you have the aluminum one with you? Yeah, I believe so. Let's grab that. I got a little Vortex, the Summit Carbon 2, which is kind of comparable. Okay, guys, so we've covered spotting scopes. We showed you a little bit of mag view. We unveiled this new. I don't, I think this is coming to the market in August or September, fall 23. I am 100% running this new one for sure. 
It's going to be lightweight. I'm probably going to yeah. run it with the Asiac tripod, and I think we need to do a tripod video. So, Tyler, the next video you guys see, we're going to do a tripod shootout, mainly for backcountry hunting and, and feature a few different brands. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh, freaking subscribe, please. We're trying to help. So help us.